In this video, we're going to take a quick look at using the calculator to add, manipulate fractions. Um, so when entering a fraction, we need to use the fraction key, this one here. So now we have a blank fraction, we can enter one, and then we can use this navigational pad to move down to the denominator, and enter a half. Now, when we're moving on to add the next fraction, we can't just press add because it'll continue along the bottom row. So let me just get rid of that. What we need to do, use the navigational pad, use the right key to exit the fraction. And now we can add the next fraction. So fraction key, three, navigate to the denominator, five and then we can press equals so that's 11 tenths that's what we'd expect because 10 is the lowest common denominator two times five is 10 so that would be five tenths and that would be six tenths so that's 11 tenths 11 tenths so let's have a go at a mixed number fraction so we'll do one and two thirds plus four and five eighths. So this time we need to enter a mixed number fraction. So to do that, we use the fraction key, but first we have to press shift. So the little S will appear in the top corner to say that it's in shift mode and then the fraction key. So now we can enter a mixed number fraction just like we did before. So one, and then we use the navigational pad and two thirds. Move on to the next fraction. And again, shift the fraction key, four and five eighths. So this time we've got um, a common denominator of 24, 3 eighths of 24. But this time the calculator is defaulted to giving the answer as an improper fraction. So you'll quite often do that. But if you do want to change it to a mixed number fraction, we could use this key here. Normally this converts fraction to decimal. But if we again press the shift key, and then we press the SD key, it will give us the answer in mixed number form. So six and seven twenty-fourths. So we can also just use that to convert between improper and mixed numbers. So if I write a mixed number, we can convert that to an improper fraction. So shift fraction key one and two fifths and if we press equals that will actually convert into a improper fraction and again shift and sd will convert it back so let's try that the other way let's do seven over four so how many sevens will go into four? How many fours will go into seven, I should say. So when we press equals this time, nothing will happen. But when we do the conversion, shift with the SD key, we'll get one, that's one full four, and then three, because the four and the three make up seven. So that's a really handy conversion you could do quite quickly. Okay, thank you.